Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Today's video features the Hey Honeycomb Ice Cream Cone die set from the Greetery. And it, the cards are both interactive. They function the same way. And um, I designed it myself. I borrowed a couple pieces from a Lawn Fawn die set, the pull and pop, pull tab set. And it functions quite easily, actually. And you can see that the ice cream cone grows to a triple scoop. So I will um, show you how to make this coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. Okay, I've got my front arrangement all glued down and I've got my birthday wish glued down. And I'm ready to stamp a birthday greeting on the inside and I just want to show you that I've got everything taped here and you just pull this mechanism up and the ice cream cone changes to three scoops so I've been using the greeteries hey honeycomb ice cream die set which is new it's the from their newest collection and um, I, I wanted to change it up a bit I wanted to um, I wanted to get three scoops and um, so I devised I devised uh, my own mechanism for doing that and it's very simple, really. It looks more complicated on the back than it really is. Um, and for the pull tab, I, I just used a piece of the Lawn Fawn um, pull, pull and pop pull tab. <laughs> There's a lot of pulls in there. So anyway, it pulls up and you have three scoops. Now, my real motivation for making this card was not to make a birthday card, but it's uh, showing you, I'm just showing you that it, it works perfectly for a birthday card. Um, and you could put a, you know, or you could put any sentiment. It doesn't have to be a birthday card even, you know. It could be um, a celebration of, um, you know, a, a job advancement or something, moving up in a career, moving up, you know, three scoops. So my uh, real reason for making this card is to celebrate another Jewish holiday that's coming up, and that is uh, the holiday of Shavuot, where we celebrate um, the receiving of the uh, Torah, and it's a tradition to have a dairy, a dairy meal, and um, some people eat blintzes, some people eat cheesecake. Um, I don't, I don't really like either of those. I, I uh, would prefer ice cream over those. So that's my reason for making the ice cream cone. Plus, plus I saw the potential in the greeteries. Hey Honeycomb Ice Cream Cone Die Set. So that will be the next card coming up. But uh, again, I'll stamp the sentiment in here. And this will be a nice birthday card um, for a family member or for a friend. So I will stamp this and be right back. So I am making the ice cream cone from the top down and I've started with the chocolate and you can see that I'm working on the strawberry layer and what I want to do is make sure that the chocolate covers the strawberry and then when I pull it or when it gets pulled up it should sit on top of the scoop like this. And so you can see 
I have a little bit of the hinge below the chocolate scoop, and that's no problem because I'll just trim that off. There's no exact science to this because it's handmade. There's no dye. Um, and you can see that it's about an inch, seven eighths of an inch going this way and about a quarter of an inch this way. This is an inch. So I've marked this with pencil and that's where I'll just use my scissors to trim it off. So I'll do that off camera and I'll be right back. One thing I forgot to mention was that I double up these layers just to give them a little more stability. And also in this top layer, I have a small magnet and that will uh, help to keep this, when they're all folded together, that's gonna keep the stack of ice cream scoops together when it's closed up. I don't have a magnet in the second layer, and I won't have a magnet in the third layer, but the, the second magnet will be under the cardstock. Um, this third layer gets glued down so that when, when all of the ice cream scoops are compressed, it will uh, hold together like this. And they will stick. Uh, this is the little magnet that I have. so that they'll hold together when they're compressed. So it just requires two magnets. One thing I wanted to mention is that these hinges between the flavors, it's a little hard to see because I have vanilla, but the vanilla right here and the strawberry um, are roughly the same size, they should be the same size, and they should be in the same placement so that when they're gathered um, together, you can see, maybe you can see, that they line up and the holes line up only the second and, and third flavors have holes. The back, the back has a hole also, and that's where this gets concealed. And my ice cream cone is gonna to be toward the bottom, and I'm gonna have my sentiment at the top. And, and I'll have some decoration on this panel and it'll be mounted on a slimline card, just like the birthday card was. So I will go ahead and prepare my panel and be right back. So I've just finished inking up my panel um, using the Hero Arts Sun Stencil, and that's from their February monthly kit. And, um, that is going to represent the sun rays. Um, and like I said, this is uh, celebrating the uh, receiving of the, the uh, Torah, the Ten Commandments. And that's how, typically how people think of it, is receiving the Ten Commandments. And it's actually the, the full body of the Torah. But um, anyway, Moses went to the mountain and received it from God. So this was going to be my mountain, and this will be where God spoke to everyone. So uh, I'll, I'll finish 
finish the panel and be right back. Okay, you can see that I've added a hillside uh, little background and that's from the stitched mountain borders from Lawn Fawn. And um, I've started to put down some sentiments and I, I glued on some toppings on my ice cream cone. And so I will finish putting down my sentiments and um, then I will be ready to put the um, pull mechanism on and I'll go over that in greater detail so you can get an idea of how to do that because that's a little bit more involved. So I'll be right back. Now that I'm nearing the completion of this project, I have taken out my acetate mechanism. This is only for setting the whole thing up. Otherwise, the cardstock mechanism would bend out of shape and I would have to replace it too many times. So um, I, I use the acetate, it's a heavy acetate, and I use that just to um, just to set the card up. Otherwise, the cardstock would just bend totally out of shape and I'd have to keep replacing it. So I just use the acetate for setting it up and then when it's near completion, I use the cardstock. Now, because cardstock is not strong enough, even the thickest cardstock, I use a piece of chipboard as my pulling <laughs> as my pulling mechanism, but I attach it to my cardstock mechanism that actually lifts the ice cream cone, and then I cover that over with my um, pull and pull and pop pull tab from Lawn Fun, or any cover that you device just to you know pretty it up so that when it looks on the front it's going to look finished and you're not going to perceive the chipboard you know, I mean you'll be able to feel it through the cardstock but um, that's no big deal and then you add two layers of foam tape on the back so you can mount it on your card and it'll raise, which you have to glue it obviously to the cardstock mechanism and that'll lower and raise it. So this cardstock mechanism is too long and I, I will cut some off, but I need to know at what point I need to uh, keep I need to know what length I need to keep. And I need to know at what point I can glue. So what I do is I raise it all the way up. And hold it flat. So I can't glue above above this line, really. I gave myself a little bit of leeway. I cannot glue above that line because it's gonna be moving up onto the other side of the card. So if I were to take my, um, my mechanism for the other side of the card, I would have to glue it to only at that point. So I've got about a half an inch to glue this onto the cardstock mechanism. But that's okay because once it's backed against the card, and I'll have a channel of double stick tape, the foam tape, on each side to keep it in place. So this basically will be what's cut off. I just want to mention also that I have located my last magnet on the back and I want to 
want you to be aware of that before you put your before you put the whole backing on that needs to be located and you need to glue it in place but to locate it you just drop it on there and find out where that gem is at okay here's the finished card i think it came out pretty nice the inside sentiment says zaman matan toratenu and chag shavuot sameach and that is the time of the giving of the Torah and happy Shavuos holiday and it says <clears throat> the sages say that when God gave the Torah to the Jews um, he gave it on Har Sinai which if you've ever been to Israel, if you've ever seen pictures of the mountains in Israel, they're pretty barren, and Har Sinai is really a dry mountain, but it was all in bloom with flowers at the time of the giving of the Torah, so that's why the flowers. Anyway, um, so I think it came out pretty nice, and my mechanism works, and I have... Um, well, you can't see inside, but the the magnets hold really well. Now, here's the birthday card again, and this one does not have the magnets, and um, you can tell because it d doesn't grip. And still, still a nice card though. Either way, so this one doesn't flop around. You. Hold it, it doesn't flop around. Snaps back into place. So that's both cards. And as I said, these were the greetery products. Um, the Hey Honeycomb Ice Cream Cone and the um, Curly Q Streamers dies and the um, Hey Honeycomb streamers from the Hey Honeycomb Balloon. So, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.